Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 13th of November 2019 and the time has just gone 11.45 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the dollar CAD, um, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar. And if you take a look at the, the long term view, uh, we can see that it's been a steady upward trend for quite some time. And if we draw a line between the lows of September 2017 through the lows of January 2018, I follow the line along here, we can see that although the market traded slightly below it, uh, it's fair to say that the trend line support was well respected. And the market uh, basically traded slightly below it, but essentially bounced nicely off of, that, off of that metric and it's been pushing higher since. Uh, that only happened uh, at, the, at the back end of last month. So in the last few weeks, um, we've seen a steady move higher in the dollar CAD. Taking a look at the MACD histogram, MACD indicator, we can see there's been a steady rise in positive momentum. So the move in the underlying market has been confirmed by the steady rise of momentum. So the bulls are in control. And we can be more confident uh, that this, this upward move is going to continue. Now we are approaching this metric here, this red line here, the 30 moving average, which is often seen as a broad barometer of whether market is, is uh, strong or weak. Below it, we signify weakness. Above it, we signify strength. But we're approaching it, um, and that comes to play in at one spot, 32.77. If we continue to push in higher from here, and we manage to take it out, we can then look towards this zone here, uh, the highs that were achieved in, in early October, in around one spot, 33.47. And should we go beyond that, uh, we can look at targeting this area here, the highs of mid June. Uh, that that will come into play in at one spot, 34.20. Uh, if on the other hand, we do see uh, the market manager kind of turn, turn lower on itself uh, yet again, we could find support come from this zone here, this yellow line here, the 130 moving average, and that comes to play uh, just south at 132, uh, in around one spot, 3198. And even if you drop below that, this uh, we, we could head back down towards where this trend line is, which is in around uh, the one spot, 31 area, there, thereabouts. Uh, and even if you do as you drop, drop below that, keep an eye out for this area to south of it. Um, if you do have a size of break below the trend line, it could mean that the kind of wider upper trend that's been in play for a while is coming to an end. And if you take out the recent lows, the, 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 the late October low, that could be that's, that could be a signal that the, um, that the kind of wider downward trend has come to an end. And we could be looking heading back down towards the lows that we saw in, early in, in July, in around one, one spot 30, 16. But also keep in mind, one spot 30 itself is a, kind of a, a big psychological number. So this zone here, in around one spot 30, 16, one spot, one spot 30, that result there could potentially be an area of support should we see a move to the downside. But if we do have a size of break below that, we could then be then begin to think, right, it's you know we could be looking at heading, uh, we, we would then be uh, falling back to levels last seen in October 2018, over a year ago. So a size of move below 130 could take us back towards th this zone here. Uh, in around one spot 29.26. Now, if you are going to be trading the US dollar versus Canadian dollar, uh, please be mindful um, that later today we have some US economic indicators out. Uh, US headline inflation is due out at 13.30 uh, GMT, and the headline figure is tipped to, to remain unchanged at one spot 7%, whereas the core reading is supposed to come in at 2.4%. Uh, later today, Jerome Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, uh, we'll be speaking at 1600 GMT, so please keep an eye uh, out for that. That could add some those uh, updates could add some volatility to the US dollar. Uh, thank you for listening, and please tune in next week.